So the Kuka Sunrise toolbox is a toolbox that allows the user to control Kuka Iwa robot from external computer using MATLAB. The commands are sent from the computer to the controller using Ethernet cable. So the Ethernet cable shall be connected to your computer at the same time it shall be connected to the KUKA IWA controller. If you notice, KUKA IWA controller have several Ethernet connectors. You have to connect uh, the, the Ethernet connector to the port X66 on the robot controller so you can use the KUKA Sunrise toolbox. Actually if you have ever used DROS you notice that they use the KUNI port but the KUKA Sunrise toolbox doesn't use the KUNI port it utilizes the X66 connector. So as you might expect the KUKA Sunrise toolbox has two script codes, two source codes. One is a MATLAB source code that you are gonna utilize on your external computer. The other one is like a Java driver, Java source code that you are gonna synchronize to the robot controller in order to allow MATLAB to control the KUKA IWA robot from the external computer. So I'm gonna show you right now those two parts of the code. So what you have to do is you have to go to the KUKA Sunrise toolbox uh, repository in GitHub. So here I am in the repo. So the MATLAB script of the KUKA Sunrise toolbox is here inside the MATLAB client folder. So those are the functions that you are going to use in order to move the robot around from the external computer. On the other hand, we have another folder. It's called KUKA Sunrise Server Source Code. So this is the Java source code that you have to synchronize to the robot in order to, contr to control the manipulator from MATLAB. So I open the folder. Lately the lastest version of the KST is the version 1.7. So basically we recommend the user to utilize the latest version of the KUKA Sunrise toolbox. Otherwise, if you used any earlier version like uh, KUKA 1.6, KST 1.6, the code is interchangeable with KST 1.7. So no worries, you can use any of the versions. The only difference is that when you use the version 1.7, you do not have to worry about the robot if it is 7 or 800 of this art 14 or 820 this is because hard coding has been eliminated uh, from the source code so basically if you have a pneumatic flange you can synchronize the KST 1.7 EWA pneumatic flange source code to the robot controller. On the other hand, if you are not going to use the flange, if you do not have a flange, or if you have any other flange other than the pneumatic flange, you can uh, synchronize to the robot controller the KST 1.7 EWA Universal No Flange to Trar. <laughs>